And the next thing being fabricated on the Demo Cuda here is the traction bar. We got a traction bar for it. It looks something like this. This thing is super heavy duty traction bar. Now this is a kit, so it's all gonna be welded together. You can say it's not connected here. Shh. So this one goes in here and that hangs down to here. This goes all the way back to the rear axle. This wraps around the axle and gets welded. Then this is gonna end up somewhere about here. These have polyurethane bushings that go in them and those weld to the end. So you have no movement. And then this big bar goes to the top ones. So bottom ones go to this bar, top ones go to this bar. That's welded to the axle. So you have no wrap in the axle. And then this side is going to go to cross member that makes up the, um, the transfer case cross member. So there will be a transfer case cross member that goes across and bolts to the, the transfer case with, with uh, isolators. And that's where the front of our traction bar is gonna hook up and then go back to the back over here on the axle. These are soft ride springs. And so when you get on the gas, the pinion, which is that guy right here, the pinion wants to raise up, okay? It wants to raise up and it rolls uh, the axle back. It doesn't move back and forth, it just, it just rolls. That way when you're trying to do nasty fat burnouts with these things, this bar that we're gonna put in here makes it so that cannot happen because it's welded straight to the axle, but it can still you know, move in all the suspension travel. Oh yeah, and before we go any further with this build, I need to give a huge shout out to our sponsor this week, Policy Genius. You see every one of these guys that own these crazy cars, whether it's a Charger or a Cuda, another Charger, a Corvette, 70 Charger there, C10s, oh, Camaro. Oh, there's a Nova back there. There's a Nova here? Actually, it's not a bad looking car too. Dang, look at that. That's different. Either way, I'm getting off track. Um, all these guys, everybody, guys, gals, you know, they all need insurance, right? The worst part about insurance, whether it's for the house or the car, you gotta, you gotta get the best price. What better way to do that than using Policy Genius? They find it all for you. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance all in one place. It's really nice, actually. If your home and your auto insurance are up for renewal, let Policy Genius look for a lower rate for you so you don't even have to. Right, Tony? Tony! It's a lot of diesel fuel. And one other thing, too, is Policy Genius doesn't uh, sell your information to third parties. Do you know that? It's always a good thing these days. Policy Genius also has thousands of reviews across Google and Trustpilot. So that'll put you at ease. Check out that. Good old Holden Brothers. We got some awesome stuff. I like the logo too. That star in the middle is really cool. Oh, we got a lot of work to do under here. Ah, diesel. It smells so good. Since about 2014, Policy Genius has helped over 30 million people shop for insurance and place $120 billion in coverage. So they can help you find home and auto coverage similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. Which I'm down for. Because cheaper is always better. Ugh. Getting started is easy. First, head to policygenius.com slash musclerodshop and answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Policy Genius will show you price estimates for policies that fit your needs and help you find the best option. Their team of experts can look for ways to save you more, including bundling your home and your auto policy. The Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance company. If they find a better rate than what you're paying right now, they will switch you over for free. 
So Policy Genius has saved customers an average of 1250 bucks per year. That's over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. So head over to policygenius.com slash muscle rod shop to get your free home and auto insurance quotes and see how much you could be saving. So to start comparing quotes and simplify the insurance buying process, visit Policy Genius. Yep, good to go. So thanks to Policy Genius for sponsoring this episode of Muscle Rod Shop. All right, so here's the game plan. Tony. Tony's gonna cut these thingies, okay? So these are gonna go, like we said before, they're gonna go somewhere um, on this side, like that, okay? Except for, you know, the problem with these are, uh, they're way too small, okay? So you can see this right here, this is notched out for the axle. And not this, this axle. is, no, not this axle. This is really a girthy one. Yep, nope, doesn't fit. So what we're gonna do is notch these out even bigger so we can get them set up around there. So here you go, that's all you. And then there's also another one too, right here, right here. That one, that's the other one. We're gonna get all the paint uh, ground off of uh, that axle on that side. Hey, you know what? We didn't decide which side to put this thing on in the first place. By the way, this, this traction bar is one side only, so there's not two sides on this thing. So it's not two traction bars running up like you would normally see on a truck or a you know, monster truck or whatever, you know, building. This one's got one. So it's gonna run up probably right up this side because on this side we got exhaust coming back and we also have the end of the transfer case drops off that side. So this side's better for the traction bar. And then we also have a big bar going across holding the transfer case on. Which by the way, the transfer case video is the next one coming up. It just got shipped. so. You guys are gonna love that thing. So that's the piece of the axle that was cut out uh, when this one got shortened up. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, that's a smart idea, Tony. How do you know it's even? All the way around? Measure it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty smart. God, look at the difference. I don't know if this is made for a Dana 60, but it's definitely not an AAM. How do you know that's straight? It's not straight, it's curved. What's curved? Yeah, I know, but I'm just... You say it was straight, but it's not, it's, it's curved. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what exactly what I mean by straight, but... <laughs> All right, what we got? Good. Now we're gonna, mm -hmm. Let's transfer that over to the axle. Is that thing hot right now? I'll take it, no? Yep. All right, so, that's our spot right there, oh yeah. That looks pretty good. Oh, wow, that's... Uh, I thought it was gonna hit the shock, but it's not. I mean, if you had it way back here. No, I think that's... I think that's just right. Yeah, right here is good. Yep. Yeah, that definitely looks good. So I think what we're shooting for is this top hole and the bottom hole at the, you know, 90 to the floor kind of thing. Because if that's the case... Oh, you know what? I don't think we can get it wide enough, though. Well, shit. <laughs> I think the issue is... Is it this is the amount of room we have to play with in there? Yeah, we got plenty. No, because it sits on the outside of that. Okay. Look at here, look at here. All right, just say that's where it goes. Dude, that's cutting it close. And we, can... we still have to put another one on this side. Yeah. Well, you know what I think we're going to have to do? Because if it's sitting here, and that pipe runs all the way over there. It's gonna be sitting really close to the side of the frame back there. So I think what we're gonna have to do is build a brace that comes up over here, back down, like kind of like a cage looking thing, and then put this on that cage. Just to get it centered, not centered up, but sitting more in the center. Cause it's supposed to be sitting, I think more centered than way off to one side. You think? Yeah, I think I know. What have I told you about thinking? Don't do it. When I tell you, you can. <laughs> you can kiss my ass. <laughs> hey! <laughs> 
All right, so we took a quick break, Tony and I. Uh, went, to, went to lunch and all. Is that your wife? <laughs> Hi, Maggie. We're calling right now. <laughs> You're making me blush. Look how many trucks are over here at Holden Brothers. There's trucks everywhere. These are all trucks that they need to get done, like right now. I don't know why they're taking their time. We're coming over here because um, we had to stop by Brandon's place, which is the guy that did the five ton tubing on the, um, the five ton for Matt. And we picked up some stuff from him, all that pipe right there. So we're gonna do a roll cage and we're gonna do, um, what else we got? Transfer case bracket, a lot of other stuff. But we need a tubing bender which is why we're here at Holden Brothers. So we're gonna go check it out right now. It's probably one of the best trucks here. Looks good sitting on the hill. Go ahead, check it out. Tony almost fell out of the truck. Oh, he's taking a picture. He's gonna take a good picture. I'm gonna show you this picture he's taking right now. Don't worry, I'm here. I'll finish Thank everything. Thank you, here What's it up, is. Dude? How you been? Hey. What? Jesus. Yeah, this one's getting a little bit crazy. Look how far the engine sticks. I'm gonna have to do a custom hood for this thing. It's looking pretty good. I mean, it fits. Fits pretty good. God, that's a lot of engine for this little car. Hey, Steven, uh, what you got going on here? Man, this thing looks good, dude. Looks like, looks super nice. Thanks. It's a 54 Bel Air uh -huh. that's been chopped three inches. It's got 56 Buick taillights on the back. I don't know if you call that graphing or what the term is. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. It looks good. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. And so it's on a. It's Are on those a, the tires you're going to run with this? Dude, that's them real. all the way around. Wow. Oh my God. Those are nice. 20 by 12. 20, 12 and a half. What is that? A 345. Oh, 355. Oh, yeah, 345. Yeah, big body. God, man. So, yeah, that on all four corners. And this is just the mock up motor, but it'll be around 1,000 horse uh, Duramax. Wow. With a 48RE transmission, which is from uh, Cummins. Yeah. Because I don't need five or six gears, I need four gears that shift fast. Oh, yeah. You don't need a firewall either. Look at that. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. <laughs> they got a whole other plate in there. And it's a full-wheel drive transmission because they make build output shafts that are really strong and short versus a long two-wheel drive output shaft. So it's a full-wheel drive transmission, but I don't have full-wheel drive. So he's going to have this, which is slammed as good because it's on bags. And then I'm going to have the Mustang, which I was telling you guys about in the last video. Um, also slammed and diesel powered, except... Uh, Mine's gonna be a little bit different. I mean, yeah. that's gonna be. It, it's all right. Yeah. As long as we have diesel engines, that's the. We're gonna, yeah. That's what matters. And then Matt's gonna roll up in his giant Cuda. Drive over us. That's, yeah. But okay. he'll have to catch us. Oh, that's true. That's the thing. I don't know. That thing's probably gonna be pretty quick, <laughs> it dude. Is. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely what I need right here. I like that. Yeah. I, I like that. that I want that. Yeah. I want this. Yeah. We need this. Yeah. Gotta have one of these yeah. and one of those. You can't do without this. I'll take that, definitely do this one, and we'll go ahead and load this up today. All right, so here is the tubing bender that they have over here that we're going to take back to the shop. I just wanted to see what we gotta do because you can see it's it's bolted into the ground. I don't learn how this thing works. We don't really build cages very much. Just saying, we don't. We don't really build cages all that much either. No, well, you yeah. did. I mean, we've, we've done a right. handful, but Looks when you good. want to bend a piece of pipe, it's easier to bend it with electricity than it is with your it's yes. back. That's yeah. a, it's a job that's hard to make pay, for oh. sure. Oh yeah, how's this thing work anyways? Well, here's your on. Then you would chuck your piece of pipe in there. Yeah, we'll, uh, like you would set it up here and you would say, uh, okay, I'm at four and a half. I know the bend's gonna start at six. I'm just, these are random made up numbers. Yeah, yeah. But once you do a test run like that and you set this piece up in here, do you have any PV glass? All right, so once that piece is all lubed up and you have that piece marked, you set that follower, the backside has another one, and Steven, go ahead. And so you'll tighten this thing up until, until the pipe doesn't really move, right about there. And so that's basically 10 degrees. And so if you want to go 90, you would actually go 100 degrees. And then whatever your spring back is, which is 
I think it's 15. Yeah, on, on this, the, on think, on, we got. On this one, I think it's seven. So you just press the go button. Oh, super cool. All right, so you can and then stop. you can stop yeah. right there. This one has a lock on it. And look, you can see where your kickback is. We were at like 38, and it kicked back to about 33 or 34. So that's about four degrees spring back on this one, on this particular piece of pipe. Take this wow. guy, and then then you can continue to bend. Like so, and voila. Then you can see that you end up this really smooth mandrel bend. Wow, yeah, that's clean. You know, and uh, it doesn't give or take away from the pipe too much. It's like, it's super minimal. You end up with a really nice radius. The uh, PB is for basically lube, so it doesn't yeah, start Yeah, you can up. use anything. WD-40, you know. WD-40 works really well. Yeah. yeah, it works well on aluminum. Or ATF. Astro Glide. Yeah, yeah we whatever, you whatever's yeah. in your toolbox. Astro Glide. I saw it in the door panel of your truck. <laughs> wow. And your toolbox. I don't know what you're talking about, but. And your fanny pack. <laughs> All <Yeah>. done. <laughs> wow. There you go, welded in. <laughs> Cool. It's all ready to go. Hey, this is good stuff. No, it's, good. it's cool too. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. All right. I'll take it. Sweet. It's yours. Cool. Yeah. All right. So we got the stuff. Head back shop right now. All right. So we're back at the shop right now. It's really loud today. Tons of stuff going on. I got a helper over here. I'm gonna right sneak now. up on you. We got the. Uh, uh, the pipe bender set up. It's all set up and ready to go. Tony uh, is cutting it right now. He just did all the measurement on it, and we got it set up pretty good. You can see. Now again, this is the one for over the axle, and Matt owes us some tacos. It's higher than this. A lot of tacos. <laughs> you getting tacos for everybody? Uh, I'm getting at least the taco. No, oh, at least one taco. Okay, that, one. That was all the bet was. One taco. <laughs> okay. All right. One taco and it's mine. No, you know what? Actually, this is going to go to Tony. Tony gets a taco. You good with that? I get my own taco. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Oh, look at that. That thing came out good. Another thing, uh, so this car is a 70 wide body Challenger. And um, I did an entire video on the paint on this thing, on taping and striping the whole entire process. Uh, also did the hood too. To just give you a little bit of an idea on what the hood looks like. It's really cool. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. That video is coming up really soon if you guys wanna see that. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right now. If you guys wanna see the second part, the second part is coming up, installing the track bar. After that, we have transfer case. Transfer case should be here this week. So, thanks for watching. This is part one. Part two is coming up very, very soon. Hopefully in the next couple days or something. Thank you to Holden Brothers for allowing us to use this pipe bender. You guys are awesome. And then we had to drill holes into our floor mount it, it's still worth it.